But uh, the, the mechanical thermostat is also used, commonly used in marine applications. For that reason, we are going to check both diagrams. First of all, we are going to review the diagram with the mechanical thermostat. And we are going to analyze the connection of uh, the control box, the control box of the system, the wiring connection of uh, the thermostat with the control box, and uh, the, the, the connection in between the control box and the compressor and the control box and the evaporator. Okay, this is the thermostat, it's clear. Uh, the thermostat uh, uh, sends the signal to activate the system. And this is the control box. This is the control box that uh, usually you found it together with the, with the condenser. Uh, together with the compressor and condenser in the engine room. In your home, that control box is located pretty close to the compressor and the condenser outside. It's exactly the same. Okay, we are going to check the elements that we have inside in the control box. Okay, that's the compressor. After the compressor, after the compressor, this is the discharge port of the compressor high pressure super saturated vapor and this is the return low pressure low pressure low temperature vapor both of them both of them remember the freon the refrigerant enter into the compressor vapor vapor if the refrigerant enter into the compressor enter into the compressor liquid damage the compressor that's no good that's one one of the of the typical problems related with compressor, that uh, the, the refrigerant is entering in the compressor liquid. Of course, immediately the compressor is damaged. The compressor is too sensitive. Okay, this is the discharge port and this is the, the return port. And internally in this star system relay, you have a thermal contactor, thermal contactor that is normally closed. That thermal contactor is normally, is normally closed. Okay, it's closed and immediately the current pass and charge the star capacitor. Okay, remember, when, as soon as you have power here, you have power here in one of the terminals of the run capacitor. And if the, if the thermal contactor is closed, you have power on the capacitor and, and on the star capacitor and right now the star capacitor is fully charged. Normally, when this compressor start at the same time, you send current over there for for, for the robot pump. And the robot pump starts at the same time, at the same time that the neutral and that the hotline, the hotline coming from that point. Uh, in other words, when the compressor is running, uh, the robot pump is running. Ah, in other cases, the current is coming from this point, not from this point. Doesn't matter. But uh, you need to connect the robot pump running at the same time with the capacitor. That's, that's critical, that's the secret. What happens when uh, the temperature that I select here is exactly the temperature that uh, is, is, is in the room? What happened? The thermostat interrupt and uh, no more current and the compressor stop immediately. In other words, the secret to start the cycle is the thermostat the thermostat activate or deactivate the system. This is the typical configuration. This is the typical configuration with mechanical thermostat. In, in, what is the meaning of that? When I have mechanical thermostat in the control box, I don't have circuit board. I don't have electronic circuit board. I only have those elements. I have the system relay. I have the relays, uh, the capacitors. I have uh, the triac. Uh, but uh, I don't have circuit board, electronic circuit board, no electronic circuit board when I use mechanical thermostat. Uh, what happened when I use, what happened when I use instead of a mechanical thermostat, I use a, a digital thermostat. Okay, the process in a typical air conditioned equipment is start here at the thermostat. Because uh, the thermostat is the element that you activate to select the temperature that you prefer, and uh, this is the temperature that you wanted. If uh, this selection of temperature is according with the, this sensor, this is the sensor that is located in front of, uh, of the evaporator. The ambient air pass over there, and uh, this sensor 
sense if uh, this temperature is according with the temperature that you select on, a, on, a, on the thermostat. According with this temperature and according with this signal, this computer, this computer start a process. What is the procedure to verify if this capacitor and these capacitors are in good condition? The procedure to verify the quality of these capacitors is like this. What is the procedure to check the capacitors? Right now I am going to explain the procedure to check the capacitors. To check a capacitor, you need a voltmeter and you need to select the voltmeter uh, in the function capacitors. What is the symbol for a capacitor? This is the symbol for a capacitor. That's the symbol for capacitors. What is the unit for capacitors? The unit is uh, farads. Microfarads or nanofarads or picofarads. Normally, the capacitors are rated in microfarads. Okay, I want to check a capacitor. You need a pliers to disconnect both terminals with the pliers, not with the fingers. Uh, you need a piece of wire to produce a charge on the capacitor in order to discharge the capacitor. When you have the capacitor outside, you can check on the label. Uh, in this particular case, the capacitor is in between, the capacity in a farad is uh, in between 189 and 227 microfarads. In between 189 and 227. Okay, after I discharge the capacitor with a piece of wire in between those terminals, I can check. I can check, I, I select my multimeter in, a, in a capacitors. In this particular example, we are in front of a self-contained unit. This is the compressor and this is the evaporator. And now we are going to check the procedure to verify if the compressor is in good condition. The procedure to verify if the compressor is in good condition is checking the condition of the winding of the compressor. Remember that the compressor have uh, two windings one winding for run and other winding for a uh, start and uh, the procedure is like this all the compressors they have a common a start and run common a start and run the reading between common and a start plus the reading between common and run should be equal to the reading between a start and run okay we are going to verify in this moment that situation this is the reading between common and a start is 2.5 and this is the reading between common and run 0 0.9 and this is the reading between star and run 3.2 in this particular case this is a verification that this compressor is in good condition